my Pokemon loving lovely people of the internet. It's time for another Raging of the Pokemon Johto party. Let's fucking go. Last week we discussed all the starters. Now we're discussing the rest of it. Uh, some of, not all of it. Some that come after <laughs> the starters of the Johto region. We're starting out with number 100 and fuck. We're starting out with number 161. Sentret. Sentret is one of the first Pokemon you usually encounter in the second gen games. It is a cute, fluffy, furry rodent type of animal. As the name says, Sentret. It's a sentry turret. No, that's not what the name says. It is a sentry and ferret. Even though it looks nothing like a ferret, it looks like an egg with a tail. But it's fine. Sentrets behave more like meerkats than any type of animal. And I will give you a Pokedex entry that explains that a little bit more. They take turns standing guard when it's time to sleep. The sentry awakens the others if it senses danger. If one becomes separated, it turns sleepless with fear. Poor baby. Sentret is cute. I like him. Um, no, it's it's just like one of the, the the main main starting Pokemon. I never really get them. I always go a little bit further into the, the game to get other Pokemon than a, than a Sentret. Yeah, Sentret four out of five. Sentret then evolves into Furret, which is more of a ferret Pokemon. It is tall. It is lanky. It is a looks like one of them. Fur scarves, but then alive. Furred is a very agile Pokemon. It can move very quickly, even though it has really, really short little tiny legs and feet. And uh, like, it's just long. It's like a long sausage. For some reason, I'm finding it very hard to find any good information on Furred or Honestly, the Johto Pokemon in general, they're hard. Like the first generation is like crazy fucking backstories, everything, but uh, Johto isn't. So I'm just gonna go with my own feelings on these Pokemon. <laughs> I think Furret is cute, way cuter than Sentret is. And Furret, I, I mean, I dig Furret. I've never, as I said, I never really use uh, Sentret or Furret in my in my team. But um, Furret is definitely more appealing to me as a Pokemon. Furret gets four out of five too. Next up is Hoot Hoot. Now Hoot Hoot is a Pokemon I really like. I usually get it because I really like its evolution. And I think it's kind of cute. I always used to think that Hoot Hoot stood on one leg or like had one leg, but apparently it does have two legs. It just like pulls one up like a little flamingo. All the time. I didn't know that. What I also didn't know and what I found very interesting, Hoot Hoot is an owl that is inspired by a clock. And that is because Hoot Hoot has a special organ in its body that can track the rotation of the earth and that means that it always knows what time it is, which is kind of cool. He's currently in my team. I'm um, leveling it to defeat Bugsy, son of a bitch. I hate that guy in his scyther. Hoot Hoot is kind of the Pidgey of the second gen Pokemon games. Most of the, 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 the starting birds are kind of, they're like household birds, but I feel like Hoot Hoot is a little bit more special and I really like its design. So Hoot Hoot for me is a five out of five. Hoot Hoot then evolves into Noctowl and Noctowl is one of my favorite bird Pokemon. I really like its design. I really like owls in general. I just really like the way Noctowl has been designed and it is, it just looks fucking sick sick. A funny thing I read about Noctowl is that it can grow a beard in when it gets a little bit older. Birds don't have hair, but you know, these, maybe these, these, this beard is made out of feathers or something. Anything that can grow a beard gets like an extra Pokeball in my book. So good job. Here's a fun Pokedex entry. Pokemon Crystal says it's extremely soft feathers make no sound in flight. It silently sneaks up on prey without being detected. The fact that it has extremely soft feathers that makes me want to cuddle a Noctowl even more because the fucking cute owl friend. Here's a fun French fact. <laughs> Noctowl's name in French is Noirfin. Noirfin? Noir fan, I think, which comes from noir as in black and harfan, which is a uh, snow owl, I believe. It's a white, big white owl, but I think they made it noir because it's a dark color. But even though that may be all good and great, Moktal's appearance is actually based on that of the horned owl, which is a completely different owl, but that's fine. I mean, it doesn't all have to be that precise. Maybe a little bit though. Noctowl gets a six out of five because of the beards and the extra points. And 
I said I would give him an extra point. So six out of five. Yeah. Up next is number 165, Lediba. Now Lediba is the bug Pokemon of the beginning of the game. And what I find interesting is that usually the po the bug Pokemon in the beginning are um, worms or, or caterpillars, and they like get become a cocoon, and then they become a butterfly. But Lediba is completely different. It is based off a ladybird or ladybug, whatever country you're in. I don't fucking know. Lediba is a bug Pokemon that actually pollinates the fruit trees and makes the fruit grow and people actually farm Lediba just so they can make their crops grow better and that is actually kind of cool. I do think Lediba is kind of a cutie, I don't know, I'm usually not a big fan of the bug type but Lediba is um, it's cute. Also this Pokedex entry really like speaks to me on a personal level. <laughs> Pokemon Gold says it is very timid, it will be afraid to move it if, if it is alone but it will be active if it is in a group. It me, Lediba, that is, that is, I get that. Then there's another entry, I like two entries for Lediba, okay? I can't help it. In silver, it says, when the weather turns cold, lots of Lediba gather from everywhere to cluster and keep each other warm. That's so fucking cute! Look at them in a tiny little bunch. Oh, fucking cuties. Cuties. Lediba then evolves into Ledion. I think that's how you pronounce it. Could be Ledion. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Pokemon is never really, like, strict on, pronounc on pronunciation, so Ledion. It's kind of like a cute, more humanoid-ish bug version. It, 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 I like the evolution line. It, it made a good like step up. And another thing that I've noticed, there's no third evolution in second gen bug Pokemon, which is, I find that interesting. A fun thing about Ledeon is that it has a pattern of a star on its back and as me like if the if there's more stars in the sky, which is like stupid because there's always the same amount of stars in the sky, but when you, when you can see more stars, the star on its back actually grows bigger or smaller depending on how many stars there are. It actually uses starlight as energy. Like that is not something I expected before I started doing the research. I was like, okay, that's actually quite interesting because it's just a bug Pokemon, but it's also a starlight absorber. I like that. Well, I've learned something new today and I think you have to maybe or maybe not. Maybe you know everything. Then uh, well done and proud. I uh, I didn't actually know that much about Ledeon and now I've learned new things and I kind of have, have, have grown a new appreciation for this Pokemon because I think that's kind of a cool a cool little thing there. So he gets four out of five from me. Next up is the second bug Pokemon of the second generation, Spinarak. Spinarak is a tiny little spider. I'm afraid of spiders, but Spinarak is kind of cute. There's nothing really, like it's a cutie. But Spinarak has a little uh, smiley face on its back, which actually in the anime sometimes changes expression, which is a little fun thing they added that I really like. Here's a fun Pokedex fact from Pokemon Ruby. The web spun by Spinarak can be considered its second nervous system. It is said that this Pokemon can determine what kind of prey is touching the web just by the tiny vibration it feels through the web's strands. That is pretty smart. I, I, I like that. Still, that makes me think of the fact that it's a spider a little bit more though, and that makes me a little bit less happy. Objectively looking at it, I think Spinarak is worth a three out of five. Next up is Ariados, the evolution of Spinarak. Ariados is kind of a big and terrifying Pokemon, at least in the anime. It is, it is quite a large Pokemon, and it is kind and terrifying. There's always like fuckloads of them on webs and they like attack you and it's like, oh no, kill me please. Ariados is not really my favorite. Here's a dumb fact that uh, about my childhood that has to do with Ariados. When I was younger, every time I would go into a cave, you'd hear Zubat and its sound was or something. But I always thought that would be Ariados. And I don't know why, because it sounds like Ariados. That's the story. I hope you enjoy it. It's really stupid, but that is, uh, that is like a thing that I remember like significantly from playing that when I was young. The Ariados sound that Zubat makes. It doesn't make sense, does it? I'm sorry for this story. <laughs> Here's a fun Pokedex fact from Pokemon Gold. It spins string not only from its rear but also from its mouth. It is hard to tell which end is which. It's got a butt face is what they're saying. Three out of five. And the last Pokemon of the day is 169. Uh, 69. Crobat. Crobat is a second gen Pokemon that is an evolution of a first gen Pokemon. This is all getting very confusing, but Crobat is the evolution of Golbat which we discussed earlier. <laughs> Crobat is another bat Pokemon. I think Crobat is actually a really cool evolution. I like the way it looks. I think it's, it, it looks way better than, than Golbat design-wise. I don't feel like it like the, the order of the evolution is right. I think it would have been better if it was like Zubat, Crobat, Golbat, just like in size and appearance-wise. But like, who am I to say that? I just think it's like a weird, like you go from tiny bat to large mouth bat to tiny bat. 
makes no sense to me. But still, Crobat is, is really cool, I think, at least. Crobat is a bat, bat Pokemon that has two sets of wings, which and they're really light, which makes it possible for it to fly really silently and sneak up on its prey to, like, eat it or whatever it is that bats do. I don't know what bats do. Do they eat their prey? Well, I mean, probably, otherwise they wouldn't have... Food. And I have another fun French fact for you. The French name for Crobat is... Nostanfer, which comes from Nocturnal or Nosferatu, not quite sure, one of those two. Nocturnal or Nosferatu, I'm gonna go with Nosferatu because that is cool. And the word Enfer, which means Inferno, so this would like be fucking Nosferatu Inferno, Bat, of Doom and Satan. Five out of five. That was it for today, guys. Who's your favorite, Spinarak or Lediba? Let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my latest video here and um, have a really good day. And I love you and goodbye.